Hi everybody, this is Diana with your Survivor One World Recap. Okay, so let's get right into it. The show opens up with Troy and Jay walking along, talking to each other after the last Tribal Council about what a shame it was that they had to get rid of their good friend Jonas, whom they really liked and trusted on their former tribe. But since he wasn't part of the new Ceylani tribe, well, they're going to keep Mike, whom they don't like and don't trust, over Jonas. And geez, that's just such a shame we had to do this. People, they were on these new Ceylani Manano mixed tribes for all of three days. Three. They played a reward and immunity and a reward and boom, they were all back together. They had been on the men-women Ceylani version of the tribes for like 11 or 12 days. But somehow this new Ceylani tribe is the bond to beat all bonds and we're going to get rid of people we trust and like because they weren't with us for three whole days. Dumb. Really dumb. And my estimation of Troy, you know, one week I think he's doing great, the next week I think, oh, Troy, what are you doing? All right, so then we get tree mail. It's a message in a bottle. It's the product placement of the night, and since they're not paying me to mention their names, I'm not going to. Anyhow, the message says, come to reward. Play a game, get a prize, basically. So they go to the reward, and the coolest thing, it's this massive slide with a straight down drop and water. It looks wooden. I'm thinking splinters. Eh, I don't know, but it looked really cool. One of the best, I think, setups that survivors come up with in a long time. And the idea is you slide down the slide into the sand, got to see Alicia do a butt plant. Boom! She got sand enema. I'm sure of it. Anyhow, they slide down the slide. They run out in the ocean. They bring a crate back, put it on a table that they're going to assemble a puzzle in. And one by one, they all come down, and the more that come down can bring the crate back. Now, Christina comes down, and she, Christina just isn't a physical girl here. Let's just get this out of the way. So she runs back and says, screw it, I ain't carrying the box, but I'll put the damn puzzle together. Her tribe, or her not tribe, her team for the reward, and for some reason they continue to play the rewards in split teams, but her team is Kim, Mike, Sabrina, Leaf, and Christina. That's the yellow team. The other team was Alicia. <clears throat> Chelsea, Troy, Jay, and Kat. And Tarzan, they did the whole schoolyard pick. Oh, that's always a fun thing. That's when you really know how hated you are in the world, is to do the schoolyard pick. Well, Tarzan didn't get picked, so no matter who won, he wouldn't get in diddly squat. Hmm. Okay, so yellow team wins. That's Christina Kim's um, Sabrina, Mike, and Leaf. Now, Leaf is super happy because he hasn't won a freaking reward yet, and he's worked really hard, and so he's going, barbecue, barbecue. Well, there's Alicia over there on the other team going, this is the special ed teacher, Alicia, you know, that really sweet girl. <clears throat> She's going, shut the F up, and you know, just being pure sweet Alicia. Street rat that she is. All right, moving on. They come back, and there's more talk about who's going to go. Kim is making some bold moves, and she thinks she's, you know, going to, she's got two alliances, and she's going to keep them both together. But she wants Mike gone. Now, Jay is real big on got to be a girl, got to be a girl. And, of course, Christina is the name that comes up every single week. Um, why you would get rid of the weakest woman is beyond me, but hey. So, um... Lots of debate back and forth. The go-to immunity challenge, and this is on, it's a horizontal ladder that you have to crawl on, and as you're crawling on it, you're untangling ropes with puzzle pieces on them. You get all your puzzle pieces to the end of the rope, and then you move on to the next phase. Four people move forward. Christine, or Alicia, Jay, Troy, and Kim, none of which are in danger of leaving, by the way. For So immunity is like, eh, you win immunity, big deal. You're not going home. So in the end, it's puzzle piecing. It probably took, I'm guessing, two hours to put that puzzle together, but they made it look like it was a mad dash to the end, and Jay wins immunity. Back at camp, we're doing the whole who should we go home, who should we, and Kim is really pushing for Mike to go home. Chelsea makes a mistake and says to Jay in front of Christina and Alicia who are not quote unquote in her tribe, shouldn't we send Mike home? Well this sends off alarms for Jay and he's freaking out. Now, 
one thing I really like about this is that Alicia is probably beginning to get the hint that she's not as in with her girls as she thinks she is. She's right down there with Christina. She ain't no better, no worse. They're in the same boat. So Kim says, well, we'll, we'll go, go for Christina. Now, the girls all think they're in a solid alliance, Christina and Alicia especially. And then the three-day Solani tribe um, thinks they're an alliance, Jay, um, Mike, Troy, Kim, and Chelsea. But we're going to vote out one of our own. So the get to the tribal council, no one feels scared. Everyone thinks they're staying. And, Jay, you know, Jeff is kind of pointing this out that some may write. And Kim and Chelsea kind of make what I think is a mistake. They say, well, it's probably good to have two or three alliances. Not so bright. So anyhow, um, in the end, Alicia and Christina vote for Tarzan. Tarzan and Leaf vote for Christina. And the three-day Solani tribe vote for their own guy, Mike. And out the door, Mike goes. Troy and Jay, who had balked the entire show about voting out Mike, Vote out Mike. I don't get it. So I, I think this is going to be really weird in the play out of it because Christina and Alicia realize that they're not as in with their girls as they think they are. So why should they stay devoted for them? Next week, the guys are going to try to sway over some girls. I think Kim might have overplayed her hand this week a little too much um, and put herself in danger that she wasn't in before. Um, I think she should have made a decision, one way or another. Go with the girls, go with Ceylani. But don't tell Alicia and Christina, we're voting out Tarzan, and then do a switch and vote out Mike, because now they're going, wait a minute. If we're in an alliance with you, how come we didn't all vote the same? So I think Kim made a major mistake there, unless they didn't show that editing and said, you vote out these two people, we'll vote out these guys. But she should have gone one way or the other, and I think she's going to take Chelsea down with her, too. So, tell me what you think of Survivor One World. It's not as fun as it used to be, but at least they're playing strategy. So, it was kind of boring, actually. All right, good night.